This is your car seat quickie for the Alpa Baby Mesa Max. We're going to show you how to buckle the baby in properly. The car seat has two adjustment features. The first one is loosening and tightening the straps. You pull on the front gray strap to tighten everything. And when you need to loosen it, you're going to find the gray button on the front. Hold it down with one hand and pull on one of the shoulders with the other. If you pull on one side, the other side will adjust with it. The second adjustment feature is the headrest. As the little one gets bigger, you're going to have to adjust that accordingly. All you have to do is grab it from the top and you can slide it up or down. The top of the baby's shoulder should be right below the headrest and the straps should be coming up and over the shoulder. The first thing you want to do before you put baby in the car seat is open up the buckles, make sure the straps are loose, and you can actually slide the straps onto the belt path to keep them out of the way to make it a little bit easier to get the baby in the car seat. Your Mesa Max comes with an infant insert, which is only used up to 11 pounds, and it does say it on the pad. Once they're over 11 pounds, you're going to take the insert out, and the child will just sit in the car seat directly. So make sure for your newborn, the pad is correctly in the chair. Now that the straps are loose and out of the way, we can go ahead and place baby in the car seat. Go ahead and step them down, make sure their bottom's all the way in the corner, make sure the headrest is adjusted right above their shoulders, and because the straps are loose, it'll make it much easier to get their arms through and to get the buckles in. The retainer clip slides together while the two metal clips go into the crotch buckle. If you're using the shoulder pads, make sure to slide them all the way back. They should be on the very top of the baby's shoulder. The first place you want to tighten from is around the baby's legs. There is going to be a ton of loose slack around the thighs. And if you pull on the tightening strap, it only tightens the slack above the shoulder. To make sure you get rid of the thigh slack first, what you want to do is you want to pull up on each side first. You're then going to slack the retainer clip all the way down. Now all your slack is by the shoulder chest area. So when you pull on the tightening strap, it does tighten everything all at once. The retainer clip will now need to be pushed up. You want to make sure it's level with the baby's armpits, and there's actually arrows on the buckle to remind you. The way to know the straps are tight enough is with two fingers, you're going to pinch on top of the baby's shoulder. So if you're using the shoulder pads, go ahead and open those up and pinch with two fingers. If you can pinch a loop, it's still too loose and you need to tighten it until you cannot pinch anything. If you're worried the straps are too tight, see if a finger can fit underneath there. If there's space for your finger to fit, you know baby's in there correctly. When you're ready to remove them from the car seat, you want to loosen the straps first. That'll make it easier to open the buckles and get them out of the chair. Make sure to like and follow.